Welcome to Order Readings 5D. I'm a psychic medium. We are here to do your guided messages for this month, as well as I am going to be covering weekly energy for your zodiac signs pertaining to romance. So if you do want to have a look at those, please click the bell. Also keep an eye on the community tab where I update you of regular content that has been uploaded. Very separately, we have the Twin Flame Collective Energy that I'll be coming to you monthly with and feel free to join us for all the super chats. So please sit back, relax, enjoy the channel messages. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment box directly below. And if you're wanting a booking, the information is within the video. Love and light, guys. Let's get into the raid. I'm hoping too much noise isn't going to happen. I'm recording your video for February for you, Sagittarius. Okay, now I have pulled the cards, the crystals. For those of you that don't know, I'm a psychic medium. Um, I also did in January a channel message for loved ones that have passed over because we had that full moon in Leo. So if you do want to see my work and you see how my gift operates, um, feel free to go through and have a look at that video. I will try and do those monthly. Uh, I did find that because we were clearing that heart chakra, um, a lot of your guides were coming through and you were blocked in certain areas. And a lot of times, you know, what we don't understand is our guides do have direct messages for us, our loved ones. Okay, now I have pulled the crystal for you. I'm looking at this three this month in a unique way and I think it's necessary. So I always listen to my guides as to what can come up and we need to keep quite balanced this month. We do have our first opportunity to view Mercury retrograde um, in the zodiac sign Aquarius during the energy of Aquarius. We're also having Venus uh, move into Aquarius at the beginning of the month. So we're going to be looking at how those placements affect our relationships, our workplace, and we're tuning into that to re-navigate and adjust. And then as the month progresses, we're going to be having on the 11th, the new moon in Aquarius, which is a beautiful aspect of day, especially when it comes to these contracts and it is at the 23 degree point. Further down the track, we're also having a full moon in Virgo. And again, there can be some complications during the month because of the squaring aspects, but this is information that you may need to be in awareness of so that when circumstances are high and low on the spectrum of energy, you can adjust to that. With the um, energy towards the end of the month, I feel we'll be summing it up, looking at our psychology surrounding the choices we're making and the interactions with our connections. Um, love, work, people, friendships, hopes, dreams, and aspirations, what we value, where the balance is. And we'll also have Venus moving into Pisces. So again, we're going to look at those placements. I'm also really, really honing in on the psychic energies that come through and looking at your chakras of where the overactivity and underactivity can come through to help you keep balance for that. That is just for this month. Um, if I'm guided to later, I'll do it. And I generally do speak about the chakras in layman's terms too. Uh, I do feel a lot of base chakra will come through. So if you're having lower back pains and things like that, um, it can be overactive, underactive. But again, you can balance it by eating red food groups. And it is because of the accountability energy coming from both Saturn and Jupiter, but more so it'll be um, third eye and throat chakra due to the fact it's Mercury retrograde. Let's get into your frequency of what's coming up this month. Now the ruin that I've selected, which I'm reading it from the book, X marks the spot. It relates to Odin, fire, which currently we have Mars in Taurus. For you, how that relates um, is healthy boundaries. It's leveling up at work. It's really maintaining that work ethic and um, looking at your health. Is it affecting your health? Are you looking after yourself? How is the diet? Um, are those share stress levels relating to your connections, um, your obligations at work and the people that you're associating with? Are they keeping you in balance or are they taking you out of balance? Are you creating that healthy boundary with yourself as well as with others? And nine times out of 10, it does come back to us. Um, it's almost like the old theory we say, you can lead a horse to water, you can't make a drink. But when we're seeing something out of balance, um, sometimes we do deem the sixth house as the house of hidden enemies, but it's trusting your intuition, looking at where we can actually gain more energy to handle circumstances. So this ruin relates to fire. So it's passion, it can be um, energies of sacral chakra. And there's also the circumstances that sometimes we can attract things and think, why has this happened? 
and really through this month potentially you might be feeling am I doing something in vain well that's the beauty of Mercury retrograde landing in Venus because it will be Venus retrograde and we're going to tune into how both Venus elements um, what we're moving towards the investment the monetary transaction um, as well as the emotional attachment to things in a belief system can be coming up for a checkup so it's a little bit like taking your car to a mechanic and getting a tune up and then reassessing it and maybe even finding some problems through that but then being able to avoid further future disaster to actually change that trajectory so it's going to be very beneficial for us now this ruin relates to gifts opportunities partnerships love match sacrifices obligations which does make sense because at the moment you have in astrology the north node in gemini which does link to your romance house and you're going to find deep changes relating to your work relating to um you know where you are how you operate how you manage those things um and and how maybe sometimes you felt you needed to be something for these circumstances uh, but realizing maybe it was a self-fulfilling prophecy over a physical need. My daughter's being very loud. So if you can hear her in the background, it's her birthday. So we'll forgive her on that one. Okay, so this is gifts, opportunities, partnership, love, match, sacrifices, obligations. On the lower spectrum of things, karmic union, divine revelation. The quadrant has been or will be offered a gift from the gods. This may take the form of wisdom or insight or an opportunity. The quadrant is warned, however, of the responsibilities inherently in accepting such a gift. The old noose philosopher says nothing comes for nothing, emphasizing that the quadrant's onus to use the gift correctly and to acknowledge both the giver and the given. Reverse, Gibo warns against taking gifts or relationships for granted. At worst, for shadows, theft or betrayal. It may also caution against giving off oneself too freely. First house, which is the south node, it's Sagittarius currently, until even next year. So there's lessons relating to that. It's helping you free yourself. It's helping you look at connections differently as well as yourself in the mix. And that's the power we have inside our lives. At worst, if it shadows theft or betrayal, it may also caution against giving off oneself too freely or spreading oneself too thinly, which can result in depleted energy and loneliness. Now, I am picking up during this cycle, there will be sacral chakra. So if you feel that you're not coping, and I'll give you an example. Sometimes we can feel really depleted and we can jump for the cookie bar to get that spark of energy to keep us going. Sometimes when we are too busy, we can eat very poorly. Six house placement. Okay, well, I'm busy and I need more energy, so I'm going to do this. That can even be caffeine. The orange chakra, when it's depleted, it can be very sluggish and unmotivated. It can be very fatigued. And sometimes we can utilize things to gain that energy up. Um, so pay attention to that. If that does come up for you, you can do guided meditation, eating the food groups. Again, this is holistic, astrological, psychic energy over medical. That is separate. Obviously, if you feel something's out of alignment, always necessarily to, you know, necessary to seek a professional. But check your energy from a vibration point of view. And if you do those things, it can help actually balance it. The way you're coming into the month with this ruin is you may feel um, that, you know, you're doing things in vain. You feel you're not getting anywhere. You feel that you're giving too much and there's not enough for you. And I feel you're trying to gain that momentum and continue that equilibrium. And, you know, Einstein mentions this and I've mentioned it in a few of the videos. You can't change a circumstance if you're coming at it with, with the same vibration and you're reapplying the same. But if you change something, even a slight change can directly change it and it will have a true effect. So if there's something you're doing right now and you feel you just keep directly getting the same outcome, changing it up a little bit and taking a different approach during this Mercury retrograde is going to give you some keys to those 
um, situations, the solutions to those problems. And it's, it's about being in self-awareness is this, isn't this working? Why? What's coming up? If you need to, journal. And if you don't want anyone to see that, another tip I do give to my clientele is emailing yourself. And then it's private, it's closed, you've got your password. You can go back to that and you can actually read it and then you have that self-awareness exchange going on. A lot of times when we do have emotions and triggers coming up that we feel we can't be honest with other people and they're just an emotional base at that point in time, they can key point some circumstances that are really blocking you. And it does really help you move into self-awareness. The crystal you have this month, abundance and prosperity are an infinite supply. I am grateful for the blessings in my life and it is heart chakra energy. Believe the ultimate wealth and success of all. Act philosophically, realize the infinite supply available magnetizing ethics heart centered we just had the leo moon which was heart chakra and business associations so yes luck is on your side now for you relating to this because you do have gemini in the seventh it can mean that if you focus on those energies and do things differently and change your mindset as well as aquarius in the third your communication style and the way you deal with things you will learn um you will learn new tricks let's put it that way you're also going to um, if it's in lack mentality there can be um, situations coming out where you feel something's out of alignment and it needs to change but i do feel you guys have a lot of plans you're having to deal with circumstances differently that's because your zodiac is in the south node as well as your zodiac currently and it can feel a little bit crazy due to the fact the south node's in sagittarius and your jupiter energy as well as jupiter currently is in aquarius so you could feel at times you're on the nail with it and you're not try to not take that personal it's developing something very unique inside you um but if self-worth energy is coming up and that's become a problem shanae's you will understand um, that something needs to change. And I feel you really want that exchange with this ruin as well as the crystal self-worth energy values. If you've been shortchanging yourself, shifting that about where you can do a guided meditation on the heart chakra and the lower chakras plus your third eye. It isn't a personal thing. It's a, a paradigm shift. Healthy give and take healthy boundaries <clears throat> if i do this x y and z person doesn't reciprocate that's fine that's my standpoint not getting angry stepping back allowing that to be a them issue now the first week how you're coming through you may be having a lot of signs and synchronicities you may be paying attention to your side of the fence, but I do feel eyes are on you. Now, if you're getting to that consciousness state, feeling that something's a certain way, maybe it's different. I do feel you're just focusing forward. Now, I'm seeing the innocence on the face, um, on the card. It is purple. I do think some things are going to be, how do I put it? It's all, I'm seeing glasses and I'm saying trying not to romanticize the situation, but it's, it's not that. It's that you're really focused in one direction with love and light. <clears throat> is that bad? No. But the way I'm seeing it is there's something coming and you're not concentrating on it. So I would say, because you do have third house placement, keep your concentration level present, not on the 5D. So be careful of what you're doing. Um, when it does come to pepping yourself up, <clears throat> caffeine overload, um, pacifiers, things to that degree, because you need to be present. The reason I say you need to be present is during Mercury retrograde, everything's very fast. And I'm seeing you, look at, the, look at the energy of the face. The first thing I'm being guided to is the eyes, oblivious, tunnel vision. You need to be present, especially in the first week and all the way through to the 21st. Because you have third house, paying attention while driving, paying attention during working, being in awareness, I do feel you can avoid disaster. Presence is impossible, is maybe impossible in your mind, but you're needing to be present. There's something you're needing to be very present for. 
if you're mourning the energy of an old frequency and it can be very very old that was really coming through at the end of january through the heart chakra activation my guides come through and that's the video i'm making reference to we're healing lineage and i do feel our guides are with us but i'm also seeing that sometimes we can be reminiscent a memory can come and it's their way of communicating with us but at the same time there's so much love in front of us that sometimes if we're too much in the 5d and in the past we're not present in the given moment and something's in front of you that's trying to show you love but you're not seeing it it's in a different language than what you're seeing you do have a lot of blessings coming but you're having a soul upgrade I do feel you're very depleted so the things you're doing is because you feel very exhausted and spent and it says give more it's in reverse there's been a lot of changes that have happened 2021 is a five but I feel this has already happened for you so it's almost like you're taking a pause you're having a soul upgrade but you do need to be present in this moment for the things that are happening around you now relating to love again I'm, I'm hearing white noise and that could be an experience that's going um i'm going to pull a clarify because i want to be away from the ego and you know have that card correlating it's like there may be obviously because i have channeled the energy of a difference between spiritual energy of healing and medical energy of healing there may be a need to um talk to somebody on that level if there is something going on it can be a doctor a medical practitioner it can be a physio there's something of a professional that you may need to see in order to deal with the circumstance because the energy of being present isn't current and i don't know why but you will understand what i'm talking about now relating to love and situations be careful across wise you got throat chakra in reverse retention of memory um forgetfulness can happen it's mercury but it feels separate this feels like something very new i'm also seeing um cross wires when it does come to love and the lack of communication but it's more cross wires and energy coming through as such so again try and be present because you're missing the words they're lost in translation so to speak I do feel some of you may actually hear from somebody from the past this can be um, at a distance or be thinking about that circumstance but again I feel some of you may miss the call you will be able to catch up with them later but again I do feel you do have a lot coming at you and and there's something they want to tell you there's something they want to share with you it's information it may be gossip but it feels important and relevant to where you are right now and i do feel those energies passed over are directly communicating through these um people these individuals and they have messages for you but they want to touch base with you this can be because your loved one on the other side is concerned about you and trying to get to a point they're reaching you but you're not listening and, and when we say not listening it's not egoic it's learning their language of how they directly send messages to you for me when I was a child um, I had a very kindred connection with my grandmother I was psychic from childhood really kept it very quiet as I moved forward my grandmother um, became a soul guide to me and the way she would connect with me when I was younger it was through dandelions the smell of her perfume the color of her nail polish and lipstick so at times when I was thinking of it and I was viewing her through the 3D um, there would be a person passing by I happened to synchronistically at that time be thinking of her the smell of that perfume would come through the person's back would look exactly like her and I was thinking a thought and it was her confirmation to me that in fact what I was thinking she was present with me so there's ways that your guides can come through and I do feel these individuals that are passed over and I'm here I'm saying individuals because it's not one um, male energies I'm feeling and there's one female energy and she's quite short these individuals are wanting to communicate with you now let's move on to the second week you may be more playful during the month now there can be circumstances relating to children and creative endeavors coming up and this can be around the 11th and a lot of reflection will be in these areas your childhood children 
um, what you want to create, what you want to leave behind as a legacy. And, you know, even having those luxuries, uh, we do need to be careful between the fifth house and the sixth house with those luxuries. But again, it's in the upright and I'm seeing it to be quite positive. Now, there can be two major circumstances playing out in the second week. That can be yin and yang. Let's have a look at the clarifiers. You can be having a bit of a break. Um, some of you may be feeling quite depleted. Some of you may have booked a holiday for those of you that are working. But I feel you're wanting to move away from seriousness. <sighs> Reclaim your art. Take a break. I feel you're tuning into it. There you go. You're tuning into it. Creative endeavors. Uh, this can be relating to who you are, what your identity is. Um, do you resonate with the work field you're in? Do you resonate with the career factor you're in? Do you resonate with um, romance? And what does romance mean? Uh, there can be some element of pressure. There always is Valentine's Day. But looking at it and what you, you want to do. But I feel you're wanting to have fun. There can be, oh, that makes sense. There can be crosswires when it relates to love. Um, sometimes we can be deeply, deeply, profoundly romantic. Other times it's almost like something's coming at left field. Uh, there can be a delay. You may be late if you're in a partnership and that can cause crosswires. But there's also something very, very separate that's quite majorly going on. Um, that does need to be sorted and organized. And that potentially can be towards the middle of the month um, when it is a family home related dynamic. You've got grounding. So if you're in a partnership, it can be accommodation. It can be home. It can be rescheduling things, things not flowing effectively, stress levels, debates. Uh, again, foundation. If you have failed to address any fourth house placement, and I don't know why I'm talking more in layman's terms, but it feels home family because root, root chakra does link to lineage and, you know, so does the yellow chakra. I'm seeing more, there could be a conflict in that. Now, again, I feel because there has been this overwhelm coming through, the forgetfulness element can be there. You do need to take a break. You need to um, maybe, what, how do I explain what I'm saying? Sometimes we can have PTSD, but it's it's over since it, it's you, maybe there's been an overload and you, it can be just dropping the ball because there's too much. So again, six house, share those things, articulate those things. Can you do this? Because I have X, Y, and Z. If you can't, let it fall down. Okay. You can't overload. You overload, the battery will become depleted. Reclaim your art again, having time away from circumstances, needing a little bit of a break, getting grounded, even if it's five minutes for a cuppa. Um, take a breather. You are either playing too hard, working too hard, whatever it is, there's too much going on in the second week. But I do feel you're achieving something. When it does come to balance, balance might not completely feel completely there, but it is moving and it is going to shift. I'm seeing almost crown and third eye and um, what's the word? It's on the tip of my tongue. They're showing me too many things. You can even see my eye getting lazy. Um, nervous system. It's like a circuit overload. That's what I'm being shown. Uh, and again, it can be some headaches and try and get your eyes checked. If you find that that frequency is coming through and it's a bit distorted, uh, I'm seeing that eye checks might be necessary. Now, overall with love, I do feel <sighs> people are pulling you in different directions. You can become forgetful. There is too much going on. There also can be a circumstance relating to home. It is going to tie up, but watch it, okay? Because it does need to be addressed. There appears to be something relating to that. And I'm hearing late. I don't know what that means, but they're saying late, running out of time. Something going on in that domain. Very separately, by the third week, we can find that we have some real breakthroughs, I feel. Tongue-tied, I feel. But on the fourth week, it's almost like with all those downloads, there's a pause. And I feel the pause is because we need to absorb everything and redirect things. 
you may be coming through in a sense of really knowing what you do and don't like. I feel as though there can be some real tough situations where you're having to look at psychology because we've got Pisces in the astrology. You'll have to get to a point where um, we get down to the devil in the detail, reapply some of these circumstances. But you've got love in reverse. Uh, you may not be um, being quite kind to yourself uh, as well as again I'm just feeling lackluster frequencies when it comes to things so I do feel you may feel very uh, misunderstood and that can be a circumstance and again healthy boundaries keeps coming up I feel you feel you're ta being taken advantage of in some shape or form and that net worth energy of exchange you're realizing this you're like look um, I'm not the metal ox that you can ride on my back and jump off uh, and use me. That's sort of how it's coming through. But it's it's several things. It's not one given thing. It can be an it could be merely an old emotion that comes through, and you're reflecting upon it over. It's physically happening for some of you, not all of you. Yeah, spiritually feeling disheartened. You got thanking God. It's five five. It's really these changes you've been through so much, but it's been an ongoing saga. What is this? Please tell me. Okay, in connections you're being more selective. Okay, in love you're being more selective. I am doing a romance read uh, this month, so I'll try and get them week by week, and they will be kind of clarified. But as we move out of Mercury retrograde, it'll be easier. But they're just going to be true psychic. Uh, no astrology unless I feel hey it's a date as per se um, other than that they will be psychically channeled via the tarot or oracles as well as my guides and then you'll have the extension reads available overall I do feel by the third week you're being selective about connections you're being selective about what you're doing at work um, moving towards work and employment how that's going to look and what it will look like communication is busy try and keep focused uh, you may need time to turn your telephone off and it's more because too much can be coming at you so if you're having that overload even if it's for five minutes even if you're not turning it off put it on silent walk away take a breather and then come back to it because it can be quite hectic through that and you may need to actually document what you need to achieve and have respite breaks here and there because it can be a very hectic month. Your connections do feel they're flowing by the third week. Um, you can be really tapping into love, but moving towards people that resonate with you. This can be during this time for all of us collectively, people from the past coming back, and that's on all sides. So for some of you, yes, um, there may be a choice and a path. Uh, again, I do feel that everything that's happening can be just to close cycles out, correct them, clean things up. But you you feel quite overwhelmed. I'll just say that. Um, you're busy. Fourth week, a lot of temptation. You may feel, and I'm I'm hearing speaking. You you may be tempted to look at something and feel it's been in vain. Have I achieved anything? Uh, this also could be feeling like you want everything now and it could be quite forceful and I, and I keep saying throat chakra quite forceful communication I don't feel it's intimate energy I feel it's frustration energy which is that overactivity so before you get there pay attention to the sacral chakra during the month <sighs> Your values rising through the heart chakra. Healthy give and take. I feel between the throat and the sacral chakra, you can be getting frustrated because number one, you're realizing what your limits are. Number two, you're realizing that energy depleting that battery can't go on forever with the interactions, with the exchanges. Um, <clears throat> if you have children around you, and this can be even, you know, your own personal inner child, I feel they're trying to connect to you, but there's a wound there. Oh, I just feel you're very, um, 
I'm seeing 5D. I just keep seeing you on 5D. Now, you may not be as patient by the end of the month. You may really want to push that circumstance forward, have to do a lot to move it. And it can be movement. Movement, work, love. It just feels everything's coming at you. Commitments. And it's weird because most of the readings we have had a week in, a week off, a week in, a week off. And it seems like it's bouncing, but it's getting more hectic after Mercury retrograde. Only for a moment. I don't, I think some of us will assess and plan correctly. Others of us already know and are frustrated and we want to push that through. And I feel you're really in a circumstantial frequency. You're using your wisdom and you're very Jupiter orientated. You're pushing through don't burn out you may not be as patient you may need to be patient with yourself that you know circumstances occur to us all are uh, there also again could be in romance uh, really committed and really wanting to get things done wanting to spend more quality time uh, missing this individual and wanting to have some peace and sanctuary this can also be a home move now I will leave these messages with you my guides are showing me that you need to be more gentle on yourself. They're also showing that you do have a lot of love around you, but you're feeling an overwhelm. So the nervous system energy can be balanced through diet. Again, if you feel that you are, you know, over things, this month will give you ways to change it so it can have a different outcome. And everything's shiftable. Everything's movable. It's energy. Overall, I do feel your partner's energy is really quiet. I feel it's a, it's a you situation this month. Love is open. Um, I do feel during the month that they may feel a little bit overwhelmed. There are some loose ends that need to be tied up in circumstances this month. But your net worth is increasing. Um, some of you may, during the year, get honours relating to work you're done. Or going to do, rather. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. If you do need a booking, you can go to the link below. If you have five, please stick around for these last messages and I will see you during the week for all the updates. Now, a very punchy update. We do have, as I said, the member zone. Very separately, please click the bell because I will put the info in the community tab when the romance reads are up and also when I do come to you live for the twin flame, the astrology updates, the moon energies and more. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, we do have the member zone as I mentioned and it will have in the future, pre it already has pre-release videos for the zodiacs. Very separately, we also will have the extension reads in there and the twin flame coaching. Also, if you're needing a booking, the link is directly below. Otherwise, feel free to join me for the super chats during the month. I answer your questions at the end of all videos. Love and light, guys. I'll talk to you soon.